<laughs> when you're the best at what you do, you know you're the king of what you do. So kings hang with kings. I'm the king, I'm the king. La Casa Grande Cigars. Go and see them on all the rap in the prom. Another light him up Friday. This week's special guest is a good friend of ours, Joe Faragamo Yay. from New York Mob Wives. Thanks, Joe, for, for joining us this my week. Pleasure. My pleasure. Is it Mob Wives, New York, Mob Wives, Staten Island? I believe it's Mob Wives, Staten Island, I want to say. I'm not okay. even 100%. You're not even 100 You're on the show, you don't know I the just title. Do what they tell me. So tell me about the season this year. What are we doing? I've been doing a lot of poorly, I tell you the truth, with the kids this year. More, um, you know, family stuff. Uh, like I'm filming an upcoming episode with uh, Christmas and the tree and all that good goofy shit. Just more to get myself involved with them. When I came home last year, it was more about the hype, you know? Yeah. Daddy's home, daddy's home. It was all, what What can daddy do for me? Not knocking right. my kids. I love my kids. But they waited so long for right, me to come right, home right, right. that they were like... They want to play catch up. They want to play catch, they want to play catch up, they want yeah. to play up one, they want to play up two, it's all, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's, it was all a thing, but now I got them to a point where it's okay, daddy's home now, I'm home a year, we did this, but now here's what daddy needs from you. Right. You, make sure you stay out of trouble, my son, number one. It's not cool to be in trouble. Number two, you, my daughter, be smart, be polite, have manners, do well in school. That's my big things, like I was saying before at lunch. Stay, stay out of the way. You don't want to be seen. Be the kid that they say, oh, what's his name, Joe? Oh, I don't know who that is. Because I was always in the middle of things. You know what I'm saying? Right. At the end of the day, well, you know what it is. Look where it gets you. So very, very careful is, is what I try to be with them and, and show them the right way to go. Same as you would do with your own kids. Well, I tell my son that I'm a Harvard p p professor. So you lie. So you teach him <laughs> not, 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 not a lot. Right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I tell him I'm a Fordham University professor. I've named him Hunter. So, you know, he's an aristocrat. You know, he's never okay. going to know Arthur Avenue. He's going to be like, Arthur Avenue, what's that? How old is he now? Three. Three and a half. Ah, he's a munchkin. Yeah, good, good. That's nice. I went to jail. My kids were two. I came out there with eight. You know what I'm saying? Then you give him six months and a half. That's by the time you get with them. My kids just turned ten. That must have broke yeah. your heart. It's tough, Paulie. I'll tell you the truth. When, when you're... I call it the pain box, that phone, when you're locked up. Because, especially if you got, you know... Call is out of my mind. So I never use that phone. You could use the phone after 10 o'clock count, 11 o'clock. Right. I would never use the phone after 6 o'clock at night. Because if I call home and have an argument with her at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, I can't sleep till 12. Right, then you go to so bed if I, if I called at 6, I got four hours to cool off till the 10 o'clock count. I can go to sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the way I used it. And I would call certain days, Tuesdays and Sundays. So when it came to it, I had that type of long-distance relationship with my kids. But it was good. It kept... It kept it where, uh-oh, daddy's on the phone. Wait till Tuesday when your dad calls, you're gonna be in trouble, you're gonna be. So it gave her that three day window to keep them in line. Right, You know. right, right, and, right, and, right. And that was what it was. And the only time as you brought up, Paulie, that it hurt a lot is when the kids would come visit me, like there was a couple of times, they think I'm working. Daddy's working, daddy's working. So a lot of times they're like that, I don't understand. Like all the other fathers come home from work, how come you don't? Well, daddy's got a different job, daddy works, you know, with the government, I, I build planes, you know, you tell them whatever yeah. you gotta tell them to make them okay, and then they're hugging your leg before you leave, and that's, that's tough. Yeah, that's, that's tough. tough. The season last year was kind of introducing your character, yes. who you are, yes. not as a character, but as a real human being, I'm that's what reality is, but, <laughs> and you came off as, you won't call her best friends. Yes. Is that change in this season? Uh, it doesn't change in the fact of us being friends. It changes in the fact of there's a divorce going on now. So as nice as you want the divorce to be, yeah. a lot of times it's not nice. Because what you think you're being fair with, and she may think she's being fair with, I have a problem with. Or what I think I'm being very fair with, she may have a problem with. So mm -hmm. as much as you want it to be amicable, it becomes this certain issue. So it's a bit more strained this year. I'm still there for her and whatever she needs, but it's a bit more strained as far well, as... I've never so. heard of a nice divorce. There so is none. it's, you know, there is none. There's, no happy, no, uh, there's no happy, no happy, happy party. party. Yeah. So, you know, you know how it is. It's the same as business. You come to a table, you try to do business. If you could walk away a little happy and I could walk away a little happy, it was a good meeting. So that's what we're looking for right now. That's what we're trying to finish up. We had a little lunch today. We, had, we were having a couple of cigars. You came okay. by to see us. Mm -hmm. Which, what do you come down to Arthur Avenue mostly for? 
Honestly, uh, right now I come down, I come to see you, of course, I'm poorly, I enjoy your company. I come down to pick up some beautiful cigars, I enjoy them. And I come down to uh, enjoy, you know, the food and what I, you, you don't get that anywhere else, really. And even like I'll bring a friend down or when I brought my father down, he's like, wow, he's 70 years old. She's like, you, you don't see this anymore. And that's very important. You've got a niche here with this market that really there isn't anywhere else. I could say it's one of a kind. Where else have you seen it? Well, like I said, we're kind of like old world. That's what you I know, mean. Lost, lost era. You haven't seen it anywhere else? Discovering the lost art. Because it isn't anywhere else. This is, this is the only place. Like When I go and I want to do a cigar for myself, I know to come here with you guys and say, hey, Paulie, I want to do a cigar. Let's get on it. What can we do? Because I love them. You love them. You're a connoisseur. I'm a connoisseur myself. There's nothing better than a good cigar. You know, at the end of the week, you had a long week. You killed right. yourself. You want to sit in the yard, put on Frank Sinatra, get a glass of wine and smoke a cigar. That's what I like to do. I'm sure you like to do the same thing. I definitely. I, you know what? That's why they call me Paulie Cigars. Right. But um, speaking of the cigar that we're gonna, we may be doing together, mm -hmm. we just talked about that over lunch. You said, why right. don't you do a cigar for you? Exactly. Why don't you do a cigar? And, that's and you brought up some things like national level and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, well, why wouldn't you? Because if you can create, not to cut you off, I apologize. If you can create what you have here, somewhere where they've never seen this before, I'm, we're used to it a bit. It's still an anomaly, right. but we still used have to people it a bit. from Connecticut and everywhere if else who could, still haven't seen this. If you could bring this to a Los Angeles level or an Encino in California, where you have a lot of major cigar connoisseurs, but they're used to the bastardized brands right where they're walking into any place that's down there and they can buy a cigar but when you see something like this rolled in front of you it's an art and people will appreciate that i would pay well, let's put a number on it i would pay 30 dollars for a cigar from here right as opposed to paying 10 dollars number wise from a cigar somewhere else well you just heard our new prices just right here place. you said the price. just for the price that's the joke 30 dollars the joke anyway, anyway, you're going to pay that price but that's the price he's charging uh, but that you know what i'm trying yeah, to say yeah no exactly right? so a lot of people when they come to this cigar store he's talking about 30 dollars uh -huh. when i tell them my prices they go do you have anything better but they never even smoked a cigar yet right. like what do you think about the cigar that like for 4 dollars it's beautiful well, a lot of people think like when you're charging them less that you're trying to right. You're, you're giving them garbage. Well, you know what it is. You're like skimping. Poorly, unfortunately, what happened in America itself and in New York, they think that if they pay more, it's better, which is not the truth. Right. You know what I mean? It's what you're getting for the price. If you know what you're into the cigar for, and you know you could sell this for cigar for four dollars and still make a profit without hurting somebody, right? And they're enjoying it. They want to know how could the cigar be four dollars? That's why you do the volume. I just, you know, what I mean, I just yeah. told you. That's, that's why it's that's, four dollars. That's, that's, that's why we're doing. That's what. That's what makes us the best of what we do. So what's in? What's this particular cigar? Because this one's very. This cigar is um, a, f a fantastic aged Cameroon wrapper. The Cameroon wrapper comes, of course, from Africa, Cameroon. Okay. Okay. It's a spicy, almost full flavored, full body mm -hmm. cigar. Oh, it's very good. Robusto size. When you have a cigar that's more compacted, the mm -hmm. tobacco is crunched down more, okay. it's gonna be more full flavored, more robust, and a lot more uh, full bodied. When, okay. it's, when it's stretched out like a Churchill size or maybe a double Corona, it's gonna be more mild okay. as the leaves are, are, are lengthening. So when, if you see a cigarette smoker, which I've never smoked a cigarette in my, but they kind of said, well, that's what we do when we pack the cigarettes, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. They like to get that, that punch of tobacco. Okay. So if you ever want something a little bit more flavored, more, uh, you know, a little stronger, always go for a robusto size. Okay. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna get a little bit shorter of a smoke length time, but you're gonna have more of a, an enjoyment if that's your cup of tea, something full flavored, a little bit more mild. Get something in a Connecticut wrapper with a little longer, uh, maybe a fatter gauge, a little bit longer, a uh, Churchill double Corona size. But I think um, this cigar could be Joe, Joe's uh, signature cigar. Yeah, I like it. Possibility. Well, redeemed. Yeah. Because I mean, Joe's redeemed himself. I redeemed myself. We've been through hell and back 17 mm -hmm. times in the last few years, and now life is good. Yeah. And we got second chances. And life's all about second chances. That's why pencils were made with erasers. Mm -hmm. And remember this. Enter in the cold word redemption, and you get a free cigar, the Joe Ferragamo cigar. It's, it's going to be a Cameroon-wrapped, 10-year-age, Mexican-Nicaraguan blend. 
Robusto size with every twenty five dollar wow. purchase. With every twenty five dollar purchase, you get one of these bad boys for free. Then they're gonna be thirty dollars a piece. So you might want them. Yeah, get, get them now. Get, them them now. Anyway. <laughs> get ten people in your, your house to buy them. So I you like know. to shoot high. Knock me down. You know, we doing this raffles become humongous. We actually mm -hmm. just gave away a, a free cigar roller. Okay. Um, at the Drunken Monkey a few months ago, we did okay. the we did the free cigar roller. Nice. This week we're giving away a free bundle of cigars of any cigar they want, any free bundle of okay. cigars if they pick out a winner. The way to enter this thing, Joe, mm -hmm. is what we do is once you follow us on Twitter at LCG Cigar Company mm -hmm. or at Paulie Cigars okay. or Facebook. La Casa Grande Cigar Company or our Facebook uh, friend Paulie Cigars. Once you, okay. you can, so you can enter up to four times, or calling eight five five seven cigars. You enter in our raffle, come into the store, sign your name. You enter into our raffle for all raffles that we do: free cigar rollers, free bundles of cigars, gift baskets, cutters, accessories. This week, Joe's gonna pick out his bundle of cigars. This week, winner of a bundle will be, and let's get the okay. drum roll right. going. Cool. Yeah, Get that Get those lucky Oh, look. The credit card. A&R Limousine. A&R Limousine? Let's not tell my friend Danny this guy won. Okay. A&R Limousine. <laughs> What's the guy's name? I don't know. What's this guy, nuts? A&R Limousine. Oh, well, I'm a... The guy, look. The guy didn't put his fucking name in the thing. <laughs> no? Yeah, I guess not. Joe, pick it up, please. Sorry, you We can give it to the company and they can give it to one of their clients. Yeah, okay, yeah. Sorry, Aina. <laughs> Ray Balderacci, Home Improvements. He's a uh, Union City, New Jersey boy. All right, my man Ray, you're getting a free bundle of cigars. And the limousine uh, company, we're just going to call them up and say who smokes cigars and we'll just send them something. Okay. That's maybe a little salt. Maybe a consolation uh, price. Maybe it was. So we're giving out two bundles this and week. Next time, put your name on it. Next yeah. time, put your name and your email. <laughs> Everybody forgets to put their email. My Naj <laughs> Magita more. We have the great Joe Farrandamo here today. He's my man, good friend. We always come down, have a bite to eat, lunch. Whenever you come into the market, you never know who you're going to run into. Joe, thanks for coming down today. Anytime, and pleasure. always remember, guys, light them up. Light them up. up. <laughs> when you're the best at what you do, you know you're the king of what you do. So kings hang with kings. I'm the king, I'm the king.